When creating grids in the Grid System Manager, there are various settings that control the display of the grid lines, extensions, and bubbles. However, when they are ultimately displayed on the drawings, you may need to make further adjustments. Depending on the scale of the drawing, bubbles may overlap, or maybe they don't need to be seen at all. If you select the grid lines, or the bubble, a number of handles will be displayed that can be used to change the appearance of the grid. In the middle of the grid line is a handle that can be selected to create a gap. If, for instance, you did not want the line to extend fully across the plan. Once the gap is created, handles on either end can be used to make adjustments as well. The red X at the gap can now be used to delete the gap and restore the full line. There are also several handles on the grid extensions and labels. The center handle will create a dog leg to the left or right, which now has additional handles which can be used to adjust the length of the dog leg. Note there is also a toggle just outside the bubble that can be used to turn the label on or off. There is the same toggle at the other end of the grid line effectively allowing you to label grids at either side, regardless of the setting in the Grid Manager. This same type of functionality exists on the grids and floor elevations in section drawings. The same handles and options exist on the vertical grid lines. Also, if you select a floor line, Handles are available for modifying the floor line and target. Dog legs can be created. Lines can be extended. If a gap exists so that the grid lines do not extend across the drawing, that can be removed. Or, just as with the grid lines, it can be toggled back on and the ends adjusted. Also, if you have multiple buildings in your floor manager, you would have selected which building floor lines to display when you created the section. However, in cases like this example here, where I have two buildings shown in the section, I can turn on multiple building floor lines and then adjust them using the handles. I'll open the Set Reference Presentation dialog and toggle on the residential building as well as the office building. Now I have both building floor lines on both sides of the drawing. So, using the handles, I can toggle off the office floor lines on the left and toggle off the residential floor lines on the right. Remember, if two labels overlap, you can use the tentative snap to scroll through the selection and then toggle off the correct one. When finished, I have all the floors and grids correctly labeled exactly as I want for this particular building. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.